Hey everyone, welcome to uh, anime uh, anime and manga roundup uh, number three. Yeah, I'm trying to. I know I keep saying I'll put out the uh, MP7 video, but uh, it, I'm running into road bumps along the way of that one. <laughs> Uh, but that one's going to be my longest uh, slide bite video, uh, rivaling Grand Thumb's videos on average. I, I've been trying to keep them to like 10 minutes, but uh, the stuff that I had to cover on the MP7 was kind of broad um, in terms of the issues that it had. I'm not spoiling anything, but uh, I, I can guarantee you that it'll be out tomorrow. Uh, like I said, there won't be any shooting footage, unfortunately. There, It's just going to be me rambling, so... That one you can also minimize like this, like this video as well. Uh, but without the way, let's go ahead and get into the uh, news real fast. So for starters, uh, another convention has been canceled. Uh, what a surprise! It's a uh, Otakon. Uh, it will return in August uh, 2021, which I mean, a lot of a lot of anime conventions are being. Uh, canceled and it makes perfect sense especially with all this uh, lockdown and and all that still doesn't <laughs> still doesn't really uh, give us much comfort but uh, aside from that we're actually getting a virtual uh, an anime convention that's right so traditionally on July 4th when we would get the uh, anime expo um, Sir, yeah, the Anime Expo experience <laughs> during July 4th. Uh, we are instead getting Funimation Con. Uh, so this is advertised as a like virtual type of anime convention. So uh, you, for those of you who've been wanting to shop or something like that, maybe they might have a online store uh, to purchase uh, things like that. Um, I mean, yeah, as much as we would like to go into the giant, like, uh, Isekai Bazaar that we call Exhibit Hall, <laughs> um, not this year, unfortunately. It looks like you're going to have to do your cosplay shopping, uh, or, you know, shopping and cosplaying online. Uh, but, yeah, looking quickly at the, uh, Funimation Con website, which I will post in the description down below, uh, it's basically slated as, like I said, entirely virtual. Uh, they're going to have industry panels, they're going to have cosplay meetups. So essentially it's it's supposed to make us feel like we're having uh, a convention. Um, I'm not sure if they're charging for entrance yet. I'm not sure if they will. Um, I kind of I'm kind of imagining this is like one giant VR chat for all of us that, ha oh, except for me, for all of you guys that have uh, virtual reality headsets, and then you can just kind of go in and cosplay, or you know, heck, your avatar could be the uh, the actual anime character or something like that. But I digress. Um, as much as we would like to all wait in the suffocating heat of Los Angeles, trying to get into that lovely air con conditioned building and get charged five bucks a soda um i mean this will have to do it's kind of like the tofu <laughs> of uh of uh anime conventions but i'll take it at the end of the day it's uh it's better than nothing uh so gonna look forward to that um uh, maybe i might post a video uh or stream uh doing this uh, convention thing i don't know well, i don't know we'll, we'll have to see about that um, aside from that, we're getting a uh, confirmed set premiere for a new anime. This one's called My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. Uh, season 3, apparently. L from what I can see here, looks like your traditional harem-type anime. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, <laughs> I am guilty of watching those type of series. I'm not revealing what. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, definitely, definitely, uh, keep your eyes out for those if, for those of you who like that type of harem stuff. Um, there's nothing really much else I could say for that one. All I can say is, um, for those of you who are looking forward to it, great. I uh, hope you guys have a good time on it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, aside from that, we also have a uh, interesting little blurb here. Uh, Pokemon Go, if anyone still plays that. <laughs> Uh, apparently they're uh, gonna let you earn coins from home now I'm assuming this is like the in-game currency to do that sort of thing now I'm not sure if that makes any sense for a lot of us uh, I know that with all the shutdown in place type thing going on um, I'd say that they should be encouraging or they should encourage um, spreading people out um, I, I would say don't have the meetup areas um, or something like that I don't know I I don't play Pokemon Go uh, and I'm just kind of shooting blanks here <laughs> yeah I, I know a couple of friends who are diehard Pokemon Go fans and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be thrilled that they don't have to go anywhere to get their coins <laughs> Um, aside from that, we have even more delays. Uh, let's see here. Quintessential quintuplets got delayed to uh, January 2021. 20, uh, Again, another... It looks like a harem-type anime. I am more than likely wrong. Um, oh, well. Uh, another film is uh, Child of Kami, Kamiari Month. Uh, that one's also been delayed to 2021. Um... Yeah, it. in terms of news-wise, it's been pretty slow, given that most of the news that we're going to be seeing is just delay after delay after delay, and maybe occasional release that's coming out on time. Um, but overall, it's just kind of slow. Uh, monotonous, most of us are in lockdown, that sort of thing, trying to stave off the boredom, uh, <laughs> stave off the... Uh, the tension within the household, that sort of thing. Aside from that, that's pretty much it on the uh, anime side of things. Uh, let's go over to manga. So with manga, um, the it's going to be really fast. There's not much, uh, I guess, news on that sort of thing. Uh, aside from Overlord ending on like volume 17 or something like that, um, Demon Slayer is uh, coming to a close at chapter 203, which is, um, I guess, pretty, pretty, um, pretty short. I, I, I'm, I'm not too sure on that. Um, all I know is that it seems like they're going to be ending after the, uh, after I'm not going to say any spoiler stuff here. After a significant event uh, or events that happen. Um, so, for those of you who've been following the manga, at least you guys are going to get some closure. Um, and maybe move on to another series. So, hey, on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and aside from that, um, there's really not much. Uh, even my uh, usual stomping mangas, it's, there, it's just uh, usual releases. Um, all I know is that, especially with uh, Domestic Girlfriend, it's been pretty slow. Uh, I believe they're on holiday, so... Uh, with that, that's pretty much the end of um, my anime and manga roundup. Uh, nothing really much else to say uh, from this point on. The rest of uh, this video is gonna basically going to be, be about me, uh, really, uh, quickly just going over what's going on with the channel. Uh, any other things uh, I'll um, let you guys know on. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for those of you who uh, stayed for the news, I'll see you later. Uh, for those of you who are interested in the airsoft stuff, stick around. So for those of you who are following me for my slide bite reviews, I promise you MP the MP7 review will be coming out uh, tomorrow. Uh, again, there's going to be no shooting footage, and I will let you guys know in that video as well. And uh, I, once that video is done, I have two uh, two new items for you guys to take a look at. First off is the PBQ uh, and the M11, uh, the angry staple gun. <laughs> I kind of just got them as filler because I do have a 
huge project or a very exciting um, I guess gun that I really am hoping that it comes soon uh, I won't spoil it but all I can say is mm, I've been wanting one of these <laughs> for a really really long time and I really hope it doesn't disappoint me um, so yeah that's pretty much it uh, like I said mp7 video will be out tomorrow at the time of this video uh, I do have two more videos in the works, uh, and or reviews actually. Uh, I I I wish I could say more, but that's uh that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty short video, uh, just past the 10 minute mark. Uh, people are gonna think I'm a sellout. <laughs> uh, with that out of the way, thank you for sticking around this far. Uh, if you like what you see, just like, share, and subscribe. Um, I guess, yeah, subscribe at this point. Uh, 100 subscribers, I will be doing a gun review in a maid outfit. Well, airsoft gun review in a maid outfit. So you will get to see a grown-ass man <laughs> doing rifle drills in a maid outfit. Uh, if you guys want to see that, like I said, just subscribe. And uh, I'll put my cameraman through that traumatic uh, experience for you guys. Uh, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.